Because of how much fun football is, it's easy to think that every footballer who's gone pro absolutely loves the sport. I mean, every other guy loves football so much that they play every other weekend, even when they're not getting paid for it. So for sure, every professional footballer who gets paid for it must surely love it then, right? Wrong. In this video today, we'll be looking at eight famous footballers who don't really like the sport. Number one, Mario Balotelli. Balotelli is one of the most controversial footballers of his generation. Right from the start of his career till this moment, he has always seemed to have a proclivity for the unusual. And in line with the unusual is the Italian seeing football as a job and nothing more. When asked why he hardly celebrates after scoring, the Italian striker replied, I do not celebrate my goals because it is my job. When a postman delivers a letter, does he celebrate? He might have a point there, you know. Also, if you look back at his career, you'd struggle to point to a time when it seemed like Balotelli was really passionate about football. Could it be possible that him not really liking football is the reason his career has been characterized with a lot of impersonal football relationships and lackluster performances? But Balotelli is not the only former Man City striker with this weird relationship with football. Number 2. Carlos Tevez Tevez enjoyed a very successful career, winning everything there was to win at club level. And oh, he also made a lot of money from playing football too. During his time at City, he was the highest paid player in the whole of England. And then when he moved to China, he became the highest paid player on the planet. But it would appear that this lethal striker from Argentina, who has achieved so much in and with football, doesn't really fancy the sport so much. He said himself that he doesn't really like football. and he He's never been a fan. He just enjoys having the ball at his feet. He said that if El Clasico was on TV and a golf game was on another channel, he would tune to the other channel and watch the golf instead. Tevez explained how football was a means of escape for people like him who grew up poor back in Argentina. So it wasn't really about loving the sport, it was just something you did along with your mates because it brought hope. Number 3. Christian Vieri Vieri is an Italian football legend. He played for 12 different clubs in Italy, but it would appear that this man who won multiple golden boots and was named in Pele's list of the 100 greatest living footballers in the world favoured cricket a lot more than football in his formative years. Back in 1998, Vieri admitted in an interview that when he was much younger, he was a better cricket player than a footballer. Also, that cricket was indeed his first love. Although he went on to play football professionally, representing Italy at two World Cup tournaments, his love for the game of cricket still seems to be stronger. Vieri, who grew up in Australia, named Alan Border as his all-time sporting hero. After retirement from professional football, Vieri leaned a lot more towards cricket. Last year, he met with a counsellor of the Italian Cricket Federation and joked that he must invite him to play at the next cricket championship in Italy. Number 4. Ezekiel Lavezzi Lavezzi, who enjoyed a successful career, mainly at Napoli and PSG, also doesn't have much affection for the beautiful game. He retired in 2019, but about five years before that, he declared that the moment he decides to hang his boots, that would be all for him in the world of football. And sports in general, as a matter of fact, Lavezzi said, Certainly, the best thing that ties me to football is the possibility of living well. And that statement right there echoes the thoughts of many professional footballers who don't really like football. They just see it as a job, a source of livelihood. Lavezzi thought about quitting football at many points in his career, but he managed to continue playing to the age of 34, when he eventually retired and left football for good. Number 5. Gareth Bale Okay, for real, are we surprised about this one? This lad has been very much okay with sitting on the bench for like three seasons straight now. Madrid tried to sell him off, but he refused to leave, choosing instead to run down his contract with the club. Bale even had that brilliant brief spell back with Spurs, and we all thought he was going to make the move back to London. But he opted to return to Madrid and continue sitting on the bench. It would appear that if not for his patriotism and love for his country, Bale may have completely left football for golf a long time ago. Number 6. Mark andre Ter Stegen 
The Barcelona goalkeeper is one of the best goalkeepers with the ball at his feet. With his talent and achievements, you might be a little surprised to hear that the German doesn't have much interest in football. Stegen said he hardly watches football games and doesn't even know the names of most of his colleagues in other clubs. He only recognizes them by how they play on the pitch. You can guess that when the Barcelona number one finally hangs his gloves up, that would be it for him and football. The lad just doesn't seem very interested. And you know who else doesn't seem very interested? His teammate, number seven, Dani Alves. If you're still playing professional football at 38 years old, surely you have a huge interest in it. Well, Alves loves football individually, but the Brazilian right back has said that it's the world around the sport that he doesn't care for so much. Obviously, he has to live in that world since he's a professional footballer, but he constantly feels like he doesn't belong there. Dani Alves, who is the most decorated football player in the history of the sport, has said that whenever he finally hangs up his boots, he will be leaving for good. He'll still watch football, but that will be from far outside the football world. He already has plans for life after football, by the way, and according to him, that involves traveling the world with a backpack on his back. Now, this next player who doesn't really like football so much will really surprise you. Number 8. Ronaldinho. We said you'll be surprised about this one, not just because Ronaldinho is one of the greatest and most successful players in football history, but because of how he played the game in his days. Ronaldinho made so many people fall in love with football. He always played with a smile on his face and his hair dancing in the air. He put the beautiful in the beautiful game. You could tell he loved the game and really enjoyed playing it. Well, that might be true. Ronaldinho enjoyed playing football, but watching it is a totally different ball game for him. He once said that he doesn't watch football. Surely not for the full 90 minutes, he just watches goals and highlights and calls it a wrap. As far as he is concerned, the great moments are all football is about, and that's all he pays attention to. Well, 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 who would have guessed? Anyway, this list may seem a lot less shocking if you consider that most people around the world don't exactly love the jobs they do. It's all just a source of livelihood. What about you, though? What do you do? Do you really love your job as much as you love football? Talk to us in the comments. Don't forget to slap a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you're notified each time new content drops. We'll catch you in the next one. Till then, bye.